time for Ghosts and Friend Dogs. Friend Dogs in the morning. In the morning. Live, 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 live. In four hour recording studio. Recording. Wake your ass up, Mr. Friend in the morning. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Cox and Crendor in the morning. It is a uh-huh. good day. Ooh, I thought you were going to actually give a day. And then I... I would have to chastise you for, in fact, giving a day. <laughs> and annoying everyone at home. But you didn't That's do true. it. You just said, today is a thing that exists in time. I did. Well, Which, as we discussed, we're all time travelers. We are all time travelers. Mm-hmm. And if there's one thing I know about time... It's that uh-huh. time traveling Thursday is a day. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just egg me on and then make me nut eggs. I guess, yeah. I guess I, I guess I had to give you an omelet on that one. Yeah. Sometimes you got to scramble your omelet. Sometimes you got to over easy the sun. Uh, speaking of omelet, when you come out next week, you need to... Uh... By the way, by come out, I, I'm referring to the fact that Crendor is coming out of the closet next week. Yes. Um, it's pretty stuffy come... in here. <laughs> That's where he records. That's where he records from. I'm not yeah. sure what you guys are talking about. He was getting a studio made in his yeah. apartment. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the hell they think we were talking about. Yeah, seriously. But when you come out to LA, uh, the fact that you mentioned omelet, I want to go back to that breakfast place. I have no reason oh, yeah. to go there <laughs> except for you. That's You're the it. only reason I go there. I go there no other time, and it's like my little treat to myself. It's just breakfast. Yeah, I never, I never go anywhere. Like I feel, I feel bad <laughs> because uh-huh. I could go there anytime I wanted to. I could, could invite people to go. You I could, could invite friends to go. But I know no one would appreciate it as much as you. They wouldn't, or judge no it as one. harshly. Yeah, like you're there to keep me grounded. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm really the grounding, and you're the electricity. Yeah. That's true. I'm the ACDC. You're the socket. Yeah, I'm the socket. Yeah, I'm the power. You're the you're the ground. I'm the gravy. You're the mashed potato. Mm-hmm. I'm the meat. You're the bread. I'm the honey. Uh-huh. You're the cereal. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's kind of a stretch. I'm the nougat. You're the wafer. I am the... No, wait, no, wait, you have to be the nougat. Wait, No, I'm... no, the wafer is the solid foundation to the nougat. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Which means you would be the cereal and I would be the honey. Oh, we got yeah. our wait. own thing screwed up, Crendor! Whoa. Wait, <laughs> what kind of cereal? Uh, grape nuts, obviously. <laughs> uh. You are obviously grape nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, gotta go grape nuts. Crendor, if there's one thing you are, <laughs> it's, you know what? You're more Kashi. I'll give you that. Okay, I have more. You're Kashi cereal. Kashi. Yeah. Great. Yeah, Kashi. Yeah, Kashi. That's the one. <laughs> I ate that for a while. And then you stopped. <laughs> and then I stopped. Yeah, I remember when I was on the health kick. That stopped quickly. <laughs> now I'm going to oh, yeah. die alone. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. There was a Nutribullet commercial, right, on yesterday, and they were talking about, uh, the Nutribullets Nutriblast and how this system is curing people of cancer and stuff. They had this cancer lady on. She was like, I was cured of cancer thanks to the Nutribullet. And they had this as an infomercial. So this guy. What is it? What? It's not a bullet, obviously. It's what is like it? It's like one of those blender things. Oh, all right. I thought you were like, the Nutribullet. Shoot <laughs> yourself in the head. <laughs> it so, cured me of cancer. Like, uh. <laughs> It's on a. Uh, it's on like Discovery Channel and HGTV oh, in the it morning. Of course, it's like two a.m. Yeah, 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 of course. And this guy, he's, he's in a studio, but it's like a classroom, but it's like a kitchen, uh-huh. and all these people are around him. All those him. people who are definitely not paid <laughs> actors are there with him. They have like notepads and they're writing down notes, and he's like, "Here's the thing: when you use the Nutra Bullet, you're go- you're enriching." Can we your just juice. talk about how that is the worst name <laughs> for a product? <laughs> the Nutra Bullet. Shoot yourself. <laughs> I don't think that's the actual slogan, though. It should be. Call me Nutribullet. <laughs> Call me. But they're talking like the Nutriblast saved my life. The Nutribullet is. I'm like, it's just a blender. Like they're doing all. It's it's just a blender. The blender. Didn't yeah, the save blender your did life. nothing. The it's actual you vegetables put in it. and fruits did that you're putting yeah. in your body. And even that suspect, like 
we don't know what saved your life exactly. Maybe you're one of those few lucky people who beats cancer without having to have help. You never know. Like, most people, that's not the case. You are an outlier, lady, who's like, eating vegetables saved my life. Yes, it's probably good to eat fruits and vegetables more (laughs) than any other thing. True. But you probably didn't, like, that might not have been what saved you. But you know what? Whatever. There's always the, like, cases of people that just things shouldn't happen. Like, there's always the super healthy person that's, like, super healthy, and then they just die. Yeah, they fall over dead. There's always the old fat ass who lives to be, like, 103. (laughs) It's like the old German woman who's just like, what's your secret to living? She's just, like, smoking and eating fat. I think I mentioned this on a previous podcast. There was, a like, the oldest man in the world for a while was this guy in, like, South Carolina or something, and they asked him what he ate, and he's like, Six pack of beer and fat back every day. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, well, you know, that's that happens. A lot of I it's guess. just the genetics. It's really what it comes down to is your genetics, and then obviously you should eat healthier because you feel better and everything. But that's true. Know. That's true. I I will fully admit that there's moments where I eat something. I'm like, yep, I'm done. <laughs> like. <laughs> I just ate what might have been the worst. And then the next day, I purposefully have to go out and get a salad. Like the McRib. I, n- Why are you still pushing this? Okay. Why are you still pushing this? I've seen at least three McDonald's with McRib ribs now, so tomorrow. We have to do it. No, no, we have to wait till you come out here. I want to go out there. next, But I don't want to uh, eat a McRib what, out well, there. Unless you we don't vlog wanna, you it. You don't want an L.A. Miss McRib? I mean, like, vlog the McRib eating. Yeah, but there's so many better restaurants near BlizzCon. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to do it yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that. Just eat it live on air. Then people don't even know we're eating it. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You just take a bite and then throw it away if you want. Nobody's going to see. That's the power of internet radio. Ugh. All right. Well, we have to plan. Well, you know what we should do? That should be our Halloween episode. Yeah, exactly. The spoo- <laughs> the <spoo-diest laughs> it's disguised. Episode. It's disguised as real food, but it's mm-hmm. not. It is certainly That's not. The Halloween. That means I have to find one, though. Like just, we discussed, just, like, finding a McRib location located. around here is impossible. They had a check mark near the like Culver City one. That's pretty close. That's not close at all. That's twenty minutes away. Well, just go there after uh, a. We are thing. progressively giving. I might as well just be like, <laughs> "This is where I live, guys." <laughs> Let's triangulate, triangulate where he I live. He lives in a dumpster outside of a Seven Eleven. Crazy stalkers, try and get where I live. Come visit me. Dumpster By which I mean, please don't. Please don't do that. <laughs> I don't want to die. Either way, McRib Halloween has to happen. Okay. What was I talking so, about again? I don't I don't <laughs> think we were talking about anything. Oh, you're yeah. Talking, oh, you're talking about the bullet. Oh, the yeah, the stupid bullet. bullet. So, was that story going anywhere? Really, it was just funny because all these people are like writing down stuff like, wow, I'm learning new things. Vegetables help you feel good. And are healthy. It's like, wow, no way. And all it's it just, it's it's just math. Yeah. Like, it's a pain in the ass knowing what it takes to be physically fit and then completely ignoring it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, it's obvious math. You expend more fuel than you take in. That's yeah. it. Right? It's mm-hmm. it, that, That's how it works. And then if you want to be, like, even better fit, you take in only really good for you things and not shit. Yeah. And then you expend more fuel, and what you're expending is good for you stuff, and it makes you better. That's literally, it's not that difficult to figure out. The problem is, oh, everything's so delicious. (laughs) (laughs) It's so good. (laughs) It really is. It's all like fatty and salty, and your body's like, Right, everything's so good. I had to, oh, oh, I had to cancel, uh, because, because I'm perpetually confronted because I'm on we're on the internet in case yes. people were wondering <laughs> and every so often I'll do like live action stuff and I'm confronted by the fact that like who is that giant fat ass in the camera I'm like oh god <laughs> so I then go on like a weird diet kick which I'm currently on again so I'm just like back to the gym I go so yeah I'm shaming myself back to the gym you gotta shame so, yourself yeah, I did two miles today, so I feel pretty good about that. But it's not a lot, but I was like, I got to go back. Did your mom so, email you too? No. Like, Jesse, no. It looks like no, you got my... it all, all bigger there. She'll probably no, go she back doesn't... to the gym. She doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> They've given up. My parents have literally given up on that. <laughs> Except Ailey's uh, story. Yeah, they don't. Unless they're, unless they're here. Yeah. But the thing is, I think it's funny because every time that they are about to come out, I end up going back to the gym. I think it might be subconscious. Probably. Because... 
Because every time that they come out here, they're coming out at the end of November Thanksgiving. Every time they come out here, I end up losing weight again. And they're like, wow, you're looking good. And then they leave, and I'm like, oh, I could use a freaking hamburger. <laughs> and I know, oh, well, whatever. But, um, yeah, no, I I was looking through um, Amazon Prime, right? Or uh, yeah. Fresh. So my my continuation of the story of Amazon Fresh is that I had to cancel it because – after looking through everything, I decided 99% of it I can buy at a grocery store and know it's fresh. Yeah. And then most of the stuff on there that I want to buy is, like, from bakeries and, like, delicious-looking things. But I know are, like, here's your 14 billion calorie, like, delicious cupcake. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, God, I want that so badly, but I don't need that. So I was like, all right, well, I have to cancel this thing. And so I, I canceled it, and they gave me a full refund, which is great. Thank God for for thirty day trials. Yeah. But yeah. um, I yeah, the stuff I got was okay. It wasn't bad, but it was you know it was stuff I could get anywhere. Yeah. And it's kind of like, why well, I don't necessarily know that I would ever pay for like a service like this. I don't know. I don't know. I can't recommend it, but whatever. Not recommended. But if you want to try it, go ahead. Yeah, you get thirty days if you live in. NorCal, SoCal, or Seattle. Go ahead and try it and see what kind of crazy stuff you can get. But I, I will tell New York you, ninety percent of the stuff on it is essentially just baked goods, baked Man. goods and coffees and oils and cheeses. Those That's are easy it. to transport. Yeah, yeah. It's basically the easiest stuff you can transport, and then stuff you can get on Amazon anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, no, I definitely need more toilet paper. Like what? Kind of, I, look, 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 look. You can just go to the grocery. You don't have to. Like the <laughs> yeah. Toilet paper you're gonna get on Amazon. Just go to. Just, just take just, five minutes. Just drive take five minutes out of your life. Unless, go, leave the house. Leave that. You know what? That's some of the most fun I have during the day. <laughs> is know. when I get to go to the. Gro- Look, I go to the grocery store uh, three times a week because I only buy certain like certain things that I'm gonna need for yeah. the next few days, right? And then and then I then I use all those up, but I go out because I like fresh stuff. And I so do I do, too. I, I'm like a big creep because I'm like, well, I don't want. A normal person would buy five bananas, right? Yeah. I buy two bananas because I don't want to have to eat a banana on the third day that's not in its prime. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the kind of crazy level I'm at. It's not a prime banana. And so banana. I'm like, well, if I go back on day three and get a banana, it's a brand new, fresher banana, and it tastes better. That's where I'm at in life. Mm. So, I mean... and then I get, then I, every time I'm there, I get coffee. And the, the, the lady who runs the coffee thing, her... Uh, her boyfriend, dare I say fiancé, if not fiancé, you should basically be her fiancé, bro, listens to this podcast. And what? so she gives me a hard time about saying ask of me to see the Fetterden all the time. That, my friend. All the time. And I'm like, you are a fan. And so I go there like three times a week to go get coffee. She give you and then free I shop. coffee? Uh, today I got free coffee. Oh, uh, yeah. Although I'm not, allowed, I'm not supposed to say nothing. Oh, I mean, I, I definitely didn't get free coffee today. Uh, yeah, every once in a while I'll get some from free coffee, and I'm like, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, I love it. Today I got a. Uh, they they didn't have the coffee that I wanted because their espresso machine was broken, so they just gave me an even bigger coffee. Well, what do you get? Uh, just coffee. What do you normally get? Uh, a vanilla latte. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get a salted. Yeah. Caramel mocha. No, no, no. Pass. Salted Grande vanilla latte. Mocha. You gotta get salted caramel delicious. mocha. You Simple. Know the, I don't want. I don't no, want all that in me. No, Look, no, I want the listen, taste of no, coffee. And no. I want the taste of vanilla. Yeah, listen, and I want it to no, be a little creamy. Wait, I don't want all on, that in stop, there. Wait. No, on, you stop. Listen, here we you go. stop. This is gonna be. This is yeah, gonna be a thirty-five yeah. minute podcast <laughs> about coffee. If we don't. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's the salted caramel mocha. If you like the smell of coffee, it tastes like the smell of coffee. But that's not what I want. But that's what everybody wants. And that's not what I want. Glad you're I not. only have two levels of coffee. Coffee, plain coffee, and then vanilla latte. Any other coffee, I'm just not a fan of. You can well. keep your cappuccinos. Oh. You can you can keep your uh your whip sloppy loppy. Oh, I was just saying the other day how like speaking Starbucks is like speaking a different language. Just like I want a mocha three shot double frap, no whip, uh it's just like, what? I think I tweeted the other day. I'm going to look this up because it was amazing. Uh, yeah. um, this is an actual order. Okay. I overheard this in front of me. I want a sugar-free vanilla latte, 104 degrees, double half shot whole milk. <laughs> 104 is, degrees? 
104 mm-hmm. degrees. That was this is legitimately what I heard someone say. And all I can tell you is first off, sugar free vanilla latte. I can accept that. I don't know why you would get a sugar free vanilla latte. Just get coffee and put <laughs> cream in it. Whatever. Sugar free vanilla latte, 104 degrees, which I think someone said is just below the boiling point of milk. Interesting. But I don't know that that's true, but apparently that's a thing. But then, it, then so already it's super douchey, but then yeah. it goes double half shot whole milk. Double half shot. Whole milk. Whole milk. So think think about this. Sugar-free vanilla latte, right? So yeah. you imagine this person's trying to be sort of like health conscious, right? Yeah. Then whole milk, you screw that up. It makes no sense. Then double half shot. So basically, that is two half shots of, I guess, espresso, which essentially is a whole shot? Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Just take a moment. Take a moment to think about that. That was a real order. I tweeted it. That's from the 18th of October, 2014, on my my tweet, sir. Double half shot. Not a double shot. A double shot I get. Yeah, double shot. Two espresso shots. Double half shot? Is that like a special type of espresso? Like half caffeine espresso? I looked it up, and it's like, that's an, it was half and half. Like, no, but a double half shot. Maybe it is. Maybe they're referring to double. Why are we looking into this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't matter? know. I don't even care. I don't even care. It was just, it blew my mind. That's the kind of stuff you can expect People just Starbucks. have stupid Starbucks order. Like, I was behind one lady. She's on the phone. She's like, Jerry, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? And she, like, said it, like, three times. And the person's just like, can you just please order? And then she's like, do you have, do you have flour tea? And they're just like, we have some herbal teas. And she's like, they have herbal teas. Um, no, no. I was just like, oh my God. And she's like, fine. He's not going to get anything. And she hangs up and she's like, can I get a venti, uh, double frap latte, soy, hold the something, four shots, and because it gets kind of that's not strong enough when you do it that way. Blah, blah. And I was like, oh my god! And then I went up and I was like, can I have coffee? <laughs> <laughs> and he was I like, yeah. honestly don't. I don't think it's necessarily Starbucks people. Although I believe most of them go to Starbucks. The people that anger me the most in the world are people who are oblivious to their surroundings. Yeah, like people who yeah. are so obsessed with their own. Like if I had to make a top ten list of things I hated, this would be number one. People who are so obsessed with their own world, like that shit just revolves around them and everyone just needs to get out of the way or uh, like they just don't care, right? Mm -hmm. Those people drive me nuts. People just bring their kids everywhere. Like best, best example ever is um, while at the grocery store. I'm walking through, like, trying to get stuff. So I like, I'm like, oh, I'll make a sandwich. This will be. I'm so I'm picking stuff out, mm-hmm. and I tr- and and so I go to get down the aisle, and in the middle of the aisle, this woman has left her grocery cart in the middle of the aisle, mm-hmm. and is looking at her phone while standing in the one place that I can get past to look at, uh, this like she's, I, I don't even know what's going on. She's looking at her phone, but staring at this wall of various goods and cheeses and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, excuse me. Nothing. I'm like, excuse me. And she's just tapping away at her phone. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> and then another older lady comes up and she's like, excuse us, dear. Nothing. <laughs> and so and so I literally just start to squeeze by and then the girl goes, oh God, I'm so sorry. And like moves her stuff. And I'm like, really? <laughs> like- That's, you were so... In your text that you couldn't acknowledge that there was not one but two people now trying to get by you and you didn't – like in my mind, everywhere I go, I I might just be bred this way. It might be because – and I think this might be – it might be like a multi-tiered thing, right? But I think Mm -hmm. being a bigger dude, you're always aware of like your space – and you don't want to be the guy who's just like, burp, 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 burp. I'm going to take up everything. And so you like you want to be accommodating for other people. And so one of the things that drives me crazy is seeing people who don't do that. 
who just don't give a shit that there are other people in their space and are just focused on themselves. And it drives me nuts because if I have a shopping cart, I'll move it to the side. I yeah. won't leave it in the middle of the aisle. If I'm looking at something, I will stand as close as humanly possible to that thing so that I'm not just walking around in the aisle. Like, it's, it's all I'm doing is being considerate because I know there are other people around me who are living their lives who don't want to have to deal with the hassle of some idiot on their phone like, I've got to leave a personal message to a friend because, oh, this beer on sale. Oh, I should get this. You know what? I'm going to break that damn bottle over your head. Yeah. Kill you. <laughs> yeah, kill him. I swear to God, if you see me go to, if, there, if I ever go to jail one day and you ask me why I did it, I will tell you because <laughs> some idiot was just standing in the middle of the road. Like, oh my God. Oh Wait, my God. the people in parking day, lots? The other day I was walk driving. Down the middle. Oh, the, Yes. Walk down the side. Why are you walking down the middle of the parking lot? Yeah. It makes no sense. The, the, the other day, I'm, I'm driving down the road, and I'm going to go turn, uh, a left-hand turn, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's in order to go left-hand, you have to wait for the, the crosswalk to pass. And so I'm just waiting patiently, and the crosswalk blinks, and it's done, right? Yeah. Just as I'm about to turn, two people on bikes come racing across the, the crosswalk, and then the guy goes across, but the girl stops in the middle of the road to adjust a strap on her bike. As I'm waiting there, as the traffic is coming at me, waiting to go, and I'm like, hello? <laughs> and then her boyfriend rides his bike back in front of my car and gives me this death glare like, don't you run over my girlfriend. <laughs> what? Why would you yell at me? Go to your girlfriend and say, lady, move it. <laughs> yeah. Look, here's the difference. Here's the difference. I would if if... If I had said girlfriend who was there, right, I would say to her, move it. I wouldn't be like, oh, hold on, baby. This asshole wants to run you over. I'd be like, that asshole's going to run you over if you don't move. Like, get the hell out of the road. Like, get out, like what are you doing in the middle of the road? Like, that is that's th that level of inconsiderate drives me crazy. Yeah. I hate people like that. Hate them. And, and if I do go on a murder spree, that will be why. <laughs> Someone That's will like, have done something so inconsiderate and rude that I will literally just kill them. And it won't be that that pussy way out of like, I have a gun, I'm going to shoot people. No, it would be with my bare hands. I would choke the life <laughs> out of them so I could watch them die. But it's like I would jump out of that car okay. and choke that man in the street <laughs> and then choke his girlfriend. I'd make the girlfriend watch me choke the man for defending her. Then I'd choke her and then I'd get back in the car and drive away. And I feel people like you've like, thought about this a lot. Oh my god! Every <laughs> damn day, people would be people would be like, people on the street would applaud me for that murder. <laughs> That's what I feel like is gonna happen. But it's like these people, like most people, they might be doing something, but there's always that part of them that's still aware of things. Like if you're walking down an aisle and they're in the way, they step out of the way even though they're still looking at something because it's like there's still that part of them that's like, all right, someone's coming by, but I'm looking at this thing. Right? Yes. But it's like there's some people just like so into the thing. Like I can't do that. Maybe that's right? my ability to like not generate enthusiasm very often. But I can't get that focused on something. I'm just too distracted. I'm just like there's somebody else coming over here. There's something here. Oh, this person's coming around. I'm just like oh. That's because you're considerate of other people and you don't want to be a hassle yeah. and a pain in the ass. And some people enjoy that. Some people love to be that person like oh am i in your way didn't mean to get your attention <laughs> i will strangle the life of you <laughs> oh the other day when i was driving i saw someone. this lady wearing a sign that was like one of those prophet signs and it was like obama is satan kill kill him or something and i was like what those people annoy me too crazy people <laughs> yeah. you annoy me i was like uh and he, it had a there was another guy walking and he had one that was like obama bin laden and there was a third guy and his was like obama is a rat and he had a, like obama with whiskers and like a rat tail and they were that's trying crazy. to hand out pamphlets and i was like yes they're crazy that's just as crazy as when people had bush dressed like hitler and stuff like that's crazy yeah. you're a crazy person no normal person does that Normal people have jobs they do. Like, <laughs> yeah. I got to go to work today. I can't sit out in the street with like my, I made this picture of Barack Obama look like a rat. And pamphlets. Yeah, no one does that. You're a crazy person. <laughs> All right, we need to actually do our show now. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, let's go to traffic of the sky with Grendor. Grendor, how's that traffic out there? Traffic today is uh, not bad for a uh, uh, time traveling Thursday. 
We got a Samuli down there, and he's chilling with Jason Cochran and uh, Karen Fawaki. They're having a blast. Uh, they're also looking for McRibs. They can't seem to find any, though, but I'm sure they'll find one eventually. There's also a nerd burglar. He's stealing some nerds out of the out of the bank. Damn it, nerd burglar. Back to you. Thanks, Crendor. Now let's go over to Crendor at the weather desk. Well, since we're talking about rude people today, I thought we'd head on down to rude Croatia. <laughs> I don't know that that's how it's pronounced, <laughs> but okay. It is. R-U-D-E. Rude. Maybe. All right. Man, it's those like Croatians rude, eh? sure are rude. I mean, Eat there's rude. actually a lot of rudes. There's rude Sweden, Germany, Croatia, Denmark, Bosnia, and but Pakistan. But what does it mean there? I don't think it means impolite. It probably means, like, town of happy people. <laughs> it probably does. Uh, well, today it's going to be 55 degrees, sunny. You got mostly sunny tomorrow. You got that uh, Saturday clouds moving out. And then you got more sun moving in on Sunday. Going to be about 60 degrees pretty much for the next forever. Great. <laughs> Also, Weather Channel says, is weed dating the new thing? Weed dating? <laughs> weed dating. What? I don't know. That's weather the Weather Channel. Channel. What are Last you time I saw about? a Weather Channel thing, it was like, this lady died. I was like, what? That's... Weather Channel, you should not be giving us news. <laughs> no. Or advice. Or anything, really. Just the weather. I mean, they also recommend mysterious giant sharks may be everywhere. Mysterious giant sharks? <laughs> Yeah. Well, that just settles the fact that I'll never go in the ocean again. Yep, that's the weather. Mysterious <laughs> giant sharks. Mysterious. They're so they're so <laughs> mysterious. Like even I am not afraid of that. That's stupid. <laughs> mysterious giant sharks. Ooh, they can be everywhere. And guess what? They carry Ebola too. Ooh, and illegal immigrants coming to take your jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, they, that's yeah giant sharks that spit ebola infested illegal immigrants come <laughs> to take your jobs they're hey you know what they could probably do it's, it's it better a mystery. than a lot of the people here how did that how did that happen Grendel? <laughs> it's a mystery mysterious giant sharks also uh probably do the jobs a lot better than a lot of people here they're probably probably also very considerate yes Mysterious giant sharks? Pretty <laughs> considerate. You notice they aren't the ones attacking humans. Yep. It's those little asshole tiny sharks. Exactly. Giant sharks don't do it. Yeah. No one's ever been attacked by a giant mysterious shark. You know why they're <laughs> mysterious? Because they're not assholes like every other shark. Yep. They're the nice sharks of the sea. They're the socially awkward sharks. They're just like, yeah. I hope I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm I don't want people to corner. hate me. I'm going to hang out really deep in the water so no one finds me. Yep. Thanks, mysterious giant sharks. Yeah, thanks, mysterious giant sharks. You're cool. You're cool. Literally. And let's go over to sports. <laughs> All right. Uh, sports, we got some baseball news. San the San Francisco Giants have won the World Series. Yeah, I know, because every uh, asshole from San Francisco on my Twitter account was like, <laughs> yeah, we did it, boys. You did nothing. You did nothing. You did nothing. Your sports team won. You did nothing. Yeah, you didn't do it. You just help them by cheering and that didn't yeah, help you, at all you you just now started to care about sports when a team in your city <laughs> got got to the world series don't pretend otherwise on the bright side for the cubs though they've hired ex tampa bay rays manager joe madden who's better than every manager the cubs have ever had Still pretty bad, though. <laughs> but they're on the rise. Cubs are on the rise. They might get back to that game before the World Series again. That'd be exciting. Cubbies, Cubbies are on the rise. Yep. One day. One day they'll do it. <laughs> one day. That's, yep. That's sports. All right. What's our big news story of the day? So, uh, first, <laughs> first we have to do break-in suspect dresses as Teletubby, allegedly steals Chinese food in man purse. <laughs> 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 are you sure it wasn't a Teletubby? <laughs> and are you sure it just didn't steal its purse back and <laughs> get hungry for Chinese? I don't know. Maybe the but... real story there is Teletubby finds man who stole purse, <laughs> steals back, steals Chinese food as well. Well, this happened in Pennsylvania. Uh, Pennsylvania police arrested a break-in suspect dressed in a yellow Teletubby costume over the weekend. The man... Oh, well, that's the problem. The yellow Teletubby didn't, ha didn't have a purse. Yeah, he didn't have the purse. That's why. Yeah. That's why. 
The man, who is not identified, reportedly broke into his friend's house after a Halloween party and stole Chinese food. A uh-huh. Bethlehem police report obtained by the smoking gun states the man raided the fridge, dumped the food in his man purse, and fled. <laughs> Cops. Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> he just went in to get food? Is that it? Yeah. He went in to get food, St- took the stole- food, and then he <laughs> left. <laughs> All right, can we? Can, we, can I ask a question? Uh huh. Big good, good question. Even if you're from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. is it still cool to dress as a Teletubby for a Halloween party? <laughs> I don't think so. I feel like we're past that. I no, feel... like there's no way you're gonna go to a Halloween party dressed as a Teletubby and people are gonna be like, "Awesome costume." They're gonna yeah. be like, "Oh, it's a, it's a Teletubby." It's okay. not even Halloween yet. Yeah, what are you doing? That's those weird people who are like, man, we celebrate Halloween early because that's the only time we can have a party. Then don't celebrate Halloween. Yeah. You can't do it on Halloween, on All Hallows' Eve like the rest of us, in worship of Satan. Then wh- why do it? Why do it? <laughs> my, fa- my favorite my favorite thing is there's a show here in L.A. Mm-hmm. that is like basically they answer Christian questions. And yeah. I heard an ad for it, and it was literally like, is it okay to celebrate Halloween? <laughs> I was like, what? In what world is there really someone who's, you know what? You, of course there are. I, I I should shut up. Of course there are people who are like, this is the devil's day, and the devil will rise. <laughs> of course there are those weirdos. But for no, it's it's a time when your kids get to dress up and have fun and go around, yeah. and people get to give candy to, to to your kids, and everyone's like. Yay, it's a fun time. It's a celebration of being scared and spooky crap. And like, ooh, it's the last, like, fun release of energy you get to have before you spend two months dealing with your damn family because you have Thanksgiving and Christmas. And you're, they're like, I'm going to tell you about my problems. Did I tell you why Obama's <laughs> the worst? You know what's even more worse? That Bill O'Reilly, I hate you. You know what's even more worse? And they just compound on each other <laughs> and your asshole in-laws and your asshole relatives and all those old people come over and you have to deal with all of them and then you just lose your mind you lose your mind you and this lose is the it. last little bit of fun we get to have <laughs> before that happens before we have to spend two months in a cave with with your with your family that you never see the rest of the year <laughs> this is the last thing and then january comes around and then you have a bunch of months of snow and then you you might as well just be dead might as well just be dead, really. This it's is like it. hibernation this is month. Of, this is the last. No one goes like, oh, we can't celebrate St. Patrick's Day in America because alcohol is a sin. No. <laughs> no. People get wasted on St. Yeah. Patrick's Day because, like, it's St. Patrick. He's or, a like, saint. We can't no celebrate, devil's there. <laughs> we can't celebrate Thanksgiving because glutton is a sin. Right? Gluttony. None of that. None of that. We're giving thanks to the Indians that we killed. <laughs> like... No, no, no one has a problem with that. Yeah. They gave us corn. We gave them graves. <laughs> <laughs> we gave them graves. We didn't even give them graves. It's killed. Yeah, that's true. We gave them blankets and let them die. <laughs> they Thank you for to... saving us. Thank you. Let me let me tell you the story of Thanksgiving. Kids. <laughs> our 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 ancestors. Well, actually, not really ours, but some some very rich white folks' ancestors. Mm-hmm. They came over and they were like. Oh, we're going to freeze to death in this cold winter. If only we hadn't taken the Mayflower and come to this nation that is yet to be founded. <laughs> and before they died, some wonderful Native Americans showed up and were like, Hey, white guys, you want some, some food and to learn how to actually live here? <laughs> and we were like, That would be quaint. Thank you so much. And then we shared a feast together in brotherly love. Years later, we murdered all of them. <laughs> 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 well, and that's, that's why that. that's why and Tinky we Winky celebrate, steals. We celebrate that <laughs> steals their food, and they're like Tinky Winky, why are you stealing our corn and maize? He's like, because and- you invited me to your party, <laughs> and I figured if if you invited me to your party, I might as well screw you. It's the American way. <laughs> It is the American way. I was going to yeah. do this uh, Halloween story, but I figure I'll just we'll save, save it that for, tomorrow. for Halloween. Yeah. Also, people, yeah. tweet us. If you're from, like, a crazy European country, tweet us if you do anything crazy for Halloween. Or if there's, like, those... Don't uh, be that guy who's like, I worship Satan. Because <laughs> then everything I said will have been for nothing. No, we want, like, be like, <laughs> I am the devil and he is inside of me. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Yeah, don't, don't be, be that, that weirdo guy. who's like, yes, the dark one speaks to me. <laughs> Give us like don't funny things, guy. like those little elf, uh, dwarf elf midget people on Christmas, like the twelve Swedish 
Like, we want some of that. Oh, like, you're thinking there's, like, tw 12 demons of Halloween? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's got to be something Grizzle in, like, Grub. like in Germany. Like, Germany Grizzle has some Grub demon the stuff. Flayer. Morgoth the Impaler. <laughs> Zugheimer. Zugheimer <laughs> the Pencil Licker. <laughs> Mumo the Mumifier. Right? There's always the one that has the... Like, all of them have pretty scary things, and there's the one guy that's like, Griggle Noggle, <laughs> the Spoon Kicker. <laughs> kicking those like, spoons. <laughs> I'm kicking these spoons. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the spoons clack down the hallway. You know Niggle Noggle is coming to get you. There's, like, Andy Swiper. Swipes your candy. Right? Oh, yeah, but his name has to be, like, Briggins Fragen, the candy yeah. swiper. He swipes your candy. Oh, I want your three musketeers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. That's it. We're done. <laughs> We're done. Send us our send us real stuff. Yeah, not fake stuff though. Yeah, not, not real. We want real stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. Thank you for watching. And as always, to be continued. <laughs>